<laughs> Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking about the kitty's hognose bat, which is one of the uh, most smallest mammals in the world and the smallest species of bat. Um, now, it's named the kitty's hognose bat or bumblebee bat um, because it has, because its nose resembles that of a hog. And it's currently vulnerable but still at risk of being completely extinct. So yeah, um, it sadly is only found in Western Thailand and Southeast Burma, where it currently occupies limestone caves along rivers. Um, its diet consists of plenty of insects that they can eat, um, flies, and sometimes they consume a lot of types of spiders. Um, they are able to catch their prey in their mouth in flight, which is kind of pretty amazing or hold them in their tail until they stop, which is, for me, um, like, completely amazing. Now, the way that these little cute bats reproduce is that they, they start to reproduce at the end of winter, and by springtime, the females lay their eggs, or lay, give birth, yeah, sorry, give birth to a single youngster, and um, the sadly, the kitty's hognose bat um, was a very slow rate or producing new of producing new new offspring, and this is a series of problems for their future. Um, due to the small size of the kitty's hognose bat, there are like so many different predators that they have to try to avoid, which includes birds, snakes, squirrels, cats, and probably some other species. Now, the largest of the kitties' hognose bat colonies have from 100 to 500 members. And what is interesting is that they all use echolocation. Um, they will spread out substantially while all other species of bats move very close to each other. It is believed that this species doesn't have to like rely on the body heat of each other as most species of bats do, which is actually for me quite interesting. Now the evolution, there are absolutely, there are sadly absolutely no fossil records of any kitty hognose bat, which makes it very hard to fully understand what the evolution process for them has been. But there have been some commonalities with various forms of bat species out there. Um, it's very interesting to experts because the fact because of the fact that it could indicate areas where these unique bats branched off from the rest of them. Um, thank you for listening. Hope you have a good time and yeah, bye.